of Romaine. Mary Ellen Taylor sells her produce at weekend farmers markets near Washington, D.C. The heads of lettuce still attached to their roots are popular and she has many regular customers like Betsy Kulik. The lettuce just tastes fabulous. That We can come year round, even in January, February and March, her lettuce is very green and, and tastes just as good then as it does in the summer. Taylor grows the lettuce and other salad greens on her family farm in Loudoun County, Virginia, about 80 kilometers from Washington. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, it is so clean. No sand or soil or pests down in there. It is just like a perfectly formed green rose that's edible. Taylor harvests 4,000 of those in her two hydroponic greenhouses each week, all year round. That's why she named her farm Endless Summer Harvest. She has a dozen part-time employees and frequent visitors from around the world. Several weeks ago, investor group from Botswana came to visit with us. We have had farmers from Afghanistan here that were visiting because this would be ideal um, controlled environment to bring to Afghanistan where the climate is so harsh. The hydroponic crops here are protected from the harsh elements from planting to harvest. What she is doing here is she has um, loaded this cedar with watercress seeds and she is planting them in the rock wall. After they germinate, these little plants stay in the nursery for two weeks. Then they're moved to a greenhouse and placed into gutters where they'll grow to market size. They're nourished sustainably using recycled water. That tank has 600 gallons of water with the nutrients. It continuously flows in and out of that tank after it has gone through the system um, and all of the plant's roots. Taylor says the two greenhouses take up a little over 1,000 square meters of land, but produce the equivalent of a conventional five hectare farm. We've established that it's so productive on small pieces of land, so they can be closer to ma major metropolitan areas. So besides farmers markets, Taylor can sell her fresh produce to specialty grocery stores. It's incredibly popular. We have a great following. And local restaurants. Chef Anthony Lombardo uses the hydroponic lettuces in his signature salads. They really like the salad a lot. We've had a lot of positive feedback about the salad. People are so into buying local food. 90% of Americans eat lettuce every day here in America. Taylor says she enjoys being known as the lettuce lady and is planning to double her farm size this year. For producer June So, Amy Katz, VOA News. Growing some of your own food is one of the best things that you can do for the environment. And, but I live in a city where I don't have access to dirt and, and a garden. And, and so it was a challenge to find a way of growing some of my own food in the conditions that, that I have here locally. And so, uh, you know, it was really just a matter of, of experimentation once I thought about hydroponics and how they could um, possibly go be made to fit the conditions of a, of a window. So hydroponics is a different way of growing um, and the plants roots actually grow differently. So in soil they have to grow very large root systems to go find new water and nutrients in the soil. Whereas in hydroponics you're essentially dissolving all of the food that the plant needs into some liquid and then directing that liquid directly to the plant's roots. This is a typical kind of air pump that you get at an aquarium store for your fish tank. And it is feeding a, a bubble into the bottom of this tube that's, that's submerged down in the water. And so each bubble, as it rises up to the top, is carrying a little bit, a little column of this nutrient-rich water on top of it, and then squirting out at the top, and then dripping down through each one of the bottles and through each one of the plants.
more than 13,000 people around the world have downloaded the instructions. Um, they've built systems in Hong Kong, in Finland. Um, and there was a whole team there that really wanted to grow vegetables during the middle of the dark days of the winter. People in every hemisphere at this point have, have done it. In general, a lot of kind of leafy kinds of, of vegetables and greens, when they come to us in the stores, they've usually been trucked for you know three or four days, or have been it's been three or four days since they were actually harvested, and throughout the course of that process, they're essentially dying. And so the, the leafy greens that we end up getting are usually um, have lost a lot of their nutritive value at that point. When I take a bite off of this kale right now, I'm getting all of the nutrients that are there in, its, um, in, in this living leaf. I'm a high school teacher who teaches grades 10 to 12. My students, through my guidance, ran a six-week test on HydroGrow's 504-watt vertical light in conjunction with Omega Garden's Folks Garden unit. I decided to use HydroGrow's 504-watt LED vertical light over any other light for several reasons. The vertical light does not contain any mercury, it produces little to no heat, is long-lasting with a projected life of up to 15 years, and it uses a lot less electricity than other lights. The vertical light uses 504 1 watt high powered LEDs. Notice how bright the light is on my student. The actual power draw on the vertical light is 420 watts. My students planted five varieties of heirloom organic lettuce, cherry tomatoes, and mini bell peppers. After letting the seeds sprout, for a week and a half, my students then planted them in the Volks Garden. The Volks Garden is a hydroponic unit that will grow 80 plants at once. A motor will turn the wheel in a full circle every hour. A reservoir on the floor contains a water pump that is hooked up to a digital timer. With a scheduled watering cycle, the water pump will turn on for one hour intervals which will allow all the plants to get nutrients. The first seven days brought tremendous growth to all of the plants.
week four, the amounts of lettuce that we had was staggering. According to our seed packages, the lettuce that we planted is supposed to be ready for harvest in 60 days. We found that the majority of our lettuce was ready for harvest at day 21 and day 28. The tomatoes that were flowering at day 21 were now starting to grow fruit. The Volks Garden, in combination with Hydro Grow's vertical light, really impressed me. I enjoyed the easy use and maintenance of the Volks Garden. Putting plants into the unit was very simple, and the Volks Garden is so self automated and zen like. The Volks Garden grows 80 plants in a 4x4 space. It uses much less water and nutrients than any other hydroponic system that I ever worked with. The speed of growth, the construction quality, the simplicity, the low maintenance, all make the Wilkes Garden the best hydroponic system that I ever worked with. I look forward to growing with it many times over in the future. The vertical light from Hydro Grow amazed me in the six weeks that I tested it with my students. The plants were incredibly healthy with deep green colors. I was also especially excited with how the vertical light caused the cherry tomatoes to start to flower at day 21 and that it also produced a ripe tomato at day 35. The variety of tomatoes that we planted were supposed to take 90 days to grow. The number of flowers and tomatoes in six weeks really shows me the quality of light that Hydro Grow is producing. The vertical light from Hydro Grow is perfectly matched with Omega Gardens Volks Garden. I believe everyone should have one of these in their home and they should be growing their own fresh herbs, tomatoes, and greens.